In this next example, we're going to use Vic to connect directly with one of our ESX servers to configure local storage for optimum performance and file size. First, let's start Vic. Let's use the FQDN of one of our local ESX servers with the username root and the password that you have assigned the root users password on your ESX server and click on login now certificate warnings that means we've never connected to this ESX server before it's important to place a check mark by do not display any security warnings for esx100.classroom.com if you do not place a check mark here then you'll get this warning message every time it's not only an inconvenience but if somebody were to change your hardware you would never know because you would have become so insensitized to the security warning it's going to take just a few minutes to connect to our ESX server to load the inventory this is a freshly built ESX server no further configurations have been made most of the time when ESX is installed it creates a VMFS volume on your local storage and very frequently that volume is not going to have the correct block size specification let's take a look starting with our ESX server go to the tab configuration choose storage and you'll see the default storage volume created for you by the installer if you look down here under properties you'll see that in fact the block size is one megabyte which is not ideal it would limit us to a maximum 256 gigabyte virtual machine disk it would also impact our performance significantly there's a very simple fix to this as long as there are no pre-existing virtual machines on this volume simply click on remove and choose yes we get a warning that this VMware ESX server does not have persistent storage and you could click here to create a data store but that's kind of like that's kind of like cheating let's go over here and click on the link that we would normally use which is the add storage link it's going to give you a choice between disk or LUN or network file system NFS we're going to choose disk or LUN because it's a local disk or LUN and here we're going to see our VMHBA 0 colon 0 colon 0 this is our local disk drive this is our local SCSI uh, disk subsystem we're going to choose next and be sure to choose use free space if you were to use the entire device you would overwrite the ESX server OS that would be a good thing so we want to use the remaining free space on this device we're going to give it a data store name since this server is called ESX 100 I'm going to call my data store local 100 so that I know that it's a local data store on ESX 100 now I'm going to give this the block size specification of 8 megabytes sure we don't even have more than 60 uh, gigabytes available but this is going to facilitate higher performance as well as larger file size down the line last choice finish and just a few seconds later we see that the local 100 data store has been created it's important to remember that you can only configure local LUNs when you use VIC to connect directly to your ESX server once you've attached this ESX server to Virtual Center you will no longer have access to local LUNs so if you were to first add this ESX server to Virtual Center you would not be able to perform these operations in this example we've used VIC to connect directly to an ESX server in order to configure the local VMFS volume for maximum performance and file size you'll need to repeat these steps for each ESX server in your environment in order to reach the maximums allowed within the VMFS file system